Okay, so this sample is going to be for a pair of shorts that has an attached elastic casing. So this one starts in your book on page 331. And we'll do the full shorts pattern since it's simple. And then um, we'll attach that casing. So the first thing we need, we're gonna do this with our little half scale front pattern. You would do the same process to the back. We're just gonna do one because it's the exact same thing. Um, so we'll just do front. So I started with a long center front line and then perpendicular to that, a line where I will line up my hip so that I can trace off my sloper and make sure everything's nice and lined up. And for this one, we're gonna trace off that very outside line, which is the stable, the red line because this one is typically done for a looser fit short or pant. And we're gonna trace the sloper down to the knee. And make sure to pull off that crotch line as well. Okay. When you trace off that stable, you will have a little gap on your waistline because you have that staggered waistline. So just go ahead and fill that in with your French curve. And then you can use your ruler to connect that crotch line and the knee area. making sure that everything stays perpendicular to center front as you go. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is draw a guideline from this corner, the side seam waistline corner. We're gonna draw a guideline that's perpendicular to center front. So we wanna make sure that we're going straight with center front and then drawing across our full top. What we're doing right now is we're flattening out our waistline because in order to have a casing attached to the top, it's gonna to be a fold down casing. So we have to have a nice straight waistline to be able to fold on. We can't fold on a curve. So now we're going to um, pull out our side seam <coughs> by an inch. So we're creating, again, a looser fit short. So on this one, by the time we put the elastic in there, it would have like a sweatpant look where it kind of gathers in a little bit. So we're gonna push out our side seam to loosen this short. Um, in full scale, it would be an inch. So here we're gonna do half an inch. And I'm gonna start switching to red because this will be our final side seam. So inch out and then again, we're keeping this perpendicular to parallel to center front, perpendicular to that hip line, which is where I'm pulling it out. We're gonna draw that up and down that full side seam area. Okay. And then we're gonna determine how long we want our shorts to be. So in the book, they took it two, two inches down at the inseam. So we'll just do one inch down. So below that crotch line, that's where our inseam starts. I'm gonna go one inch down and create a mark across my pant for Okay, the next thing we need to do is right here at that inseam corner, we're gonna loosen it up a little bit because right now it's slanted in like a tight fitting pant. So we're gonna loosen it up a little bit and we're gonna get it to a 90 degree angle right there. So we need to bring this corner where our hem is intersecting that inseam, we're gonna bring it out and down a quarter inch. So in half scale, an eighth of an inch. So from that hemline that we just marked, we're gonna go down, uh, what did I say, eighth of an inch, and then out an eighth of an inch. Okay, 
So I'm just creating a dot right there right now. And then we're gonna connect our crotch corner where that inseam starts out to that dot that we just made. And it's just gonna be a nice straight line. That is the corner of our hem. So I'm gonna square from that inseam over just enough to get a, a corner. So I'm doing about an eighth of an inch and then we're gonna use our French curve to curve that back into our original hemline. Because we have that um, straight side seam, we've already got a 90 degree angle out at the other corner of our hem. So we're good to go there. Okay, so now we've got our nice loose short. The next thing we need to add is that casing at the top for our elastic. So our elastic, we're gonna assume in this case is one inch. Um, and so we're gonna do our casing. We have to go up and do an extension that is double the length of our elastic plus an extra half inch for seam allowance. So we're gonna go up half an inch twice because we're in half scale. So half an inch twice, which is one inch, plus the extra half an inch in full scale, which is quarter inch in half scale. So I'm going up one and a quarter inch from my guideline that I made, that straight waistline. And then I need to put a dashed line right in the middle of that for the fold. And then if your center front line wasn't already long enough, you would extend that center front all the way up to fill in the casing area. Okay, and then at this point, all we need to do is add seam allowances everywhere. So our casing here at the top is our seam allowance for our elastic. So we don't need to add anything at the waist, but we will add a quarter inch seam allowance at our crotch, inseam, side seam quarter inch full scale, so eighth of an inch, half scale. And then we need to add our one inch hem depth. So again, half scale would be half an inch. So I'm gonna follow the curve of my hem. Add my seam allowance around the rest of my piece. Okay, and then before we cut this out, we have to make sure to true that hem. So when we fold up that hem, I'm gonna cut off my excess here. When we fold up that hem, we want it to kick out so that it matches that inseam. So with that little kick out is where my finished hem will be. So you should have that little trude so that whenever it folds up, it matches your inseam perfectly, okay? Yes. How long the hem The hem, like how long did I go down on the inseam? Mm -hmm. um, in the book they did two inches, so half scale I did one inch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, so leave all your working pattern lines on there. Make sure to label everything. So I'm gonna label my hip, crotch, 
waste. And then um, put on your grain line. So on this one, we've got our grain line going up and down the piece. And it is that directional grain line. So at the bottom, you're gonna have that cap. And at the top, you'll have your arrow. And then, let's see, are there any other labels? Make sure that you keep your notch on there. You should have a single notch for the crotch line. And that should be it as far as labeling goes. Okay. So this will be what you turn in.